Hi ladies, this is Carla. I'm so glad you stopped by today. What I'm going to do is go through this little card kit that I got from Anna Griffin. It's called Finishing School Craft Box by Cart Noel. So in here we should have dies, cards, layers, envelopes, embellishments, and sentiments. I'm gonna take a look at this. These are going to be the next cards that I am going to focus on for my craft fair. So first of all, let's look at the idea sheet. Okay, so here's a couple of them. Looks like we're gonna have gold foil in there. And oh my, over here we have several different uh, suggestions on how to make them. We've got different color combinations. Oh, I love these windows. Cool. Then they've got, uh, looks like greenery, little garlands that go around the windows. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Uh, we've got all of these embellishments. This looks like little Christmas trees. Oh, it looks like snow. You can see there's kind of snow on the roof and snow across the eaves of the, the house. Here we've got lots of little holly embellishments, garlands, cute. We've got cinnamon stickers. We've got envelopes. I'm not sure how many are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I roughly counted 18, so there could be anywhere from 18 to 20. I'm not sure how close I got on that. These are the cards, so you get a whole uh, selection of cards with different colors on there. Ooh, there's blue, reds, greens, silvery, golds. Okay, get a lot of different cards. You get foil, that's great. You get this kind of a matte gold foil so you can make your layers. Then you get a lot of different prints. Let's see, oh good, this is double-sided. Look at that, some of that looks like brick. Ooh, a lot of it does for the house. How cool is that? I like this a lot. Looks like maybe not all of it is double-sided, but quite a bit of it is, so that's good. Oh, and look here. This is the frosting on the cake, okay? I'm gonna raise my, whoops, my camera up just a little bit so you can see everything that's on this die. Okay, we do not have a shadow layer with this. We do have the house. Here's a door. Have these little windows, and here, is another door, I'm not sure. Oh, that's, um, I have to look at this a minute. Now they use that door. Okay, that's just to put over it after you cut it out. Then you lay this on top of that, layer that on top of that. Okay, I get it now. And then you've got, looks like a little candle with some garlands, a uh, wreath, and uh, not garland up here, just some greenery. And down here, you've got a little garland. Okay, that's gonna be interesting to see how that works. So, let's get started. So, what I've done is I went ahead and I made a card using you know some of the dies and pieces because I kind of like to get a feel for it before I try to present it and on this particular set I think it's going to be easier to make two at a time if you want to add you know the bells and whistles and what I'm talking about on that is if you can see now this one she has used it's all a gold flat mat um, piece of paper there and here you can see she's got a different piece for the roof than the the house itself same here same here same here and same here so i did that on my first one but i 
I made it and then I cut it apart. I cut the roof off and then I thought, oh man, I'm kind of wasting something here. <laughs> so what I did was I went ahead and cut out pieces and I cut out, excuse me for reaching there. I cut out this one and I cut the top off, okay? And then I cut out another house out of the red brick and then I cut the top off. And what I'm going to do is put the red roof with the brick over here and put the tan roof with the brick over here on the red. Now, underneath here, you can see that I have this layer back here to go under the house. You wouldn't have to. You could just use the card, but I wanted to use this. I have a slimline die set, so I just used the shadow layer from that, and I'm going to place that behind that particular house. So, to do this, before I add this all onto here, I cut out the windows and the doors. Now on this particular house, I'm going to use uh, gold. So I'm going to put these little gold frames around the windows. And like I said, this is a really cute set, but just be prepared, it's gonna take a little time. That's why I think that I'm going to just do two at a time. And then I have a gold door. Then I'm going to cut this little white door off to put a white door inside my gold door frame. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to take, um, I've got a little exacto knife here because I got bumped. I'm going to pull that apart. I'll take a little ruler. And you can see where it has embossed a little line right down through here. I'm going to try to get that as straight as I can. Put my ruler on that. Go up there, hold it down. And cut with my X-Acto knife and cut that little door out. And this frame, who knows, I may want to use it on something else, so we'll lay it over there. Now, to me, that looks a little bit off, so I'm gonna take my scissors, trim that up to make that just a little bit straighter. There we go. I'm gonna take this little white door I'm going to fold the gold one over. And I'm going to put that little white door on the front. So I'm going to take some glue. I'm going to glue this to the front. Take that and glue it over there. Push it up just a little bit. And over here, I should have done this. Whoops. <laughs> Oops. I should have. Um... Well, excuse me just a second. One, two, three. Okay. I should have done this. Oh, this is a hard time sticking before I actually glued this in here, but I'm going to try to do it now. So while this is drying, I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, and I'm not really sure how this is going to work. I'm going to put this under this and take my ruler. I've got my ruler. I'm going to lay it right here on the edge, just like so. I'm going to try to keep that 
even there and just cut that off. Whoop. That didn't work, so let's try it again. Yeah, I've got the right side. Just want to try to get that little door off. There we go. That worked just fine. Get rid of that. And then for... Let me move this out of the way. We don't need that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my door. Where was it? Here it is. With a little white door. I'm going to glue that. Now, it comes with some little cards in the set. One is like Santa by a tree. The other one is... Uh, I think it's a fireplace or a cake. I don't know a fireplace, I think. It's so tiny in my eyes. But anyway, you could put those either behind a window or a door. I'm going to put this one behind the door. So let's go ahead and put some glue on this door frame. And we're just going to glue this on now also behind this part up here on the door I had taken a little piece uh, kind of a um, creamy yellow color and put it behind that to kind of look like a light now I did that on my other card and I didn't like it in all the windows so I just did it on that one so there you've got your little door and your gold door frame. And now we're gonna go add all of these gold window frames. My uh, advice would be like when you're cutting out things and sending passes through, I would just take extra little dies and whatever and if it's going to be the same color just run them through that pass even if I'm not sure I'm going to use those that way you've got them and you don't have to go back and you know run a pass for every teeny tiny little die let's see where am I here we go place that over the windows this one that one up here and they uh, include oh the most adorable decorations to go with this it's just amazing <laughs> amazing now I'm going to take the roof and I'm going to add my little gold window frame to that too that on there. Now what I'm going to do on this one, like I said, I added yellow behind the others. I didn't really care for that that much. So this one, on hers, I noticed her idea sheet, she had used one of the sheets she included in the kit that it's um, the brick on one side and then it's kind of a striped um, gray black on the other side so i'm going to use that behind my window so it'll look like the lights are out <laughs> i guess and i'm going to add a little glue above my window and below the window and put those on i went ahead and cut little pieces out of that to have those ready putting it together goes pretty fast if you've got all your little pieces that you think you're going to use. Ready to go. And that makes it kind of, you know, like the lights are out behind the window. There's a little black door, except they must not be out over the... I've got that little crooked, it looks like. I think it 
that's okay. And let's see, on this one, let's go ahead and get that one on. Oops, totally missed that one, didn't I? Let's pull it over a little bit. Pressed on. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my shadow layer, base layer, whatever you want to call it, on the card itself. Make sure I've got it going the right way. Okay. Now we're going to add this. To this that looks fine with me, and then we're going to add the base of the house. Give it a little bit of room at the bottom. I'm just going to glue that on. pretty good and I think for my roof I'm going to uh, pop that up with some foam squares give that a little bit of dimension off and then I'm going to place that right at the roof line you can kind of see the embossing where this was where snow or lights can go. So I'm going to try to get that really close to that. There. Now we've got our roof and there's a little bit of dimension under that. Looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and let's get this one put together. Okay, first we're going to take I'm going to a little glue on all these and get our windows. Oh, it's not a window. <laughs> Here's our window. Right here. And make sure I have the right side of that. Then I'm going to take all these little dark pieces and add them to the back of our windows. dry a little bit. I'm wanting to stick. I don't want it to whoosh out on me, so let's do that. And then this, we're going to see if I want that on there yet. Do we want, we're going to cut this off. So I'm going to need my X-Acto knife and my little ruler. I'm going to lay that in there. This is a little hard to see. All right. Okay, just come in here. I'm 
Take that off. And then let's take this little picture and we're going to add this to the back so it looks like when you open the door you can see the little Christmas tree. So we'll add some more glue that kind of dried out down there. And you just need a little right in here, right here. And lay it on and then with the glue you get a little bit of wiggle room to move it around to be positioned where you want it to be and that looks pretty good okay this needs a little more glue right here This one, I think I'm going to go ahead, I'll cut another little piece of yellow to go behind that light. Um, it doesn't take a very big piece, so just a little piece of this kind of a pale yellow. That's large enough. Let's see if we just can lay that on the back. Put a little bit of glue on these little... Uh, wooden pieces here and come around here. There. So now you've got light coming through your window above the door again. Now let's go ahead and I was trying to figure out this one. Let's go ahead and put the windows on because they're going to be white. So let's Get some glue around the window frames. But there's a lot of different ways you can mix and match. And this is fun, but wait till you see all the little embellishments. Now talk about fun. It is really fun. Let's see if I got that straight. That looks pretty straight. And then let's add another one up here. I think uh, like these window dies and things, I mean, if you have your own paper, um, you could make these and use like spring flower decorations. You could make your house the color you like. So these are versatile. It wouldn't have to be just a Christmas set of dies, even though these are darling. Let's put a little there. Straight. Now we're going to go for the roof. It's white on the roof. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead again and uh, go ahead and glue the shadow layer down. Good enough, good enough. Now, we're going to, let's get the door on there. I think I'm going to maybe have the white trim on here. 
and I'm going to put a gold door. So again, I'm going to take my little exacto knife and my little ruler and come over here and line that up on the side of the door there. I don't know how I manage to get up on the ruler, but I do often. There we go. Now take that little door. I'm just going to glue it on top of this white. See, you know, you could have left it just like it was, but like I said, if you want it to look really nice and add the little bells and whistles and you're gonna spend a little bit extra time on this. Okay, let's go ahead and glue our door on. You don't wanna glue your door down. Well, you could, I guess, but on this particular one, we're not because we have a little picture behind there. You know what would be cute is if you have a picture, you know, of a child or a grandchild put in there. Wouldn't that be darling? Send it to grandma. Let's see. Trying to cover those. There we go. So now we've got our little door and you open it. Did I forget to fold it? No. There we go. Whoops. Come on now. Okay. So when you open it, you've got, you know, your little scene that you can see in there. We'll lay that there. Now let's go ahead and get this glued on the base again. card going the right way. Okay, let's come down here. Get this on straight. It looks pretty good. Okay, press that on. Let's get our little foam squares. We'll get our roof on. Looks good. I'm going to take off these little backings. All right. And again, we're just going to line this up with the roof. Kind of centered on there. Hey, we've got this, and now we're just ready to do the fun stuff. Okay, I went ahead and I cut out, like this is a little garland uh, with the die, and I cut out a little gold candle with the die, and a wreath. Now, I'm not exactly sure <clears throat> if I'm going to use all of these or if I'm going to pull them from the embellishment she sent. I mean, I have to show you some of these cute little things. Okay, first of all, we need, I think we're gonna get snow on the top. So I'm gonna kind of pull these out so I can get to them maybe a little bit easier. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead. Here's one. 
snow that goes across the roof line. You can see, let's get that. You can see that a little better. And let's get that glued on. See how it's coming together? Isn't this the cutest ever? Cutest ever. Alright, mash that down. My glue seems to be having <clears throat> a little trouble sticking today. I don't know why. Alright, we'll leave that there for now. Let's get another little border of snow. Go on the other little house. that one right here but see since I had all my pieces pretty much cut out uh, it's really easy to make two at a time now I was looking for rooftop snow I think it's in here um, sorry well it looks like they're all and get mixed up. Okay, these are not rooftop snows. Oh goodness, I had a catch in my back. Well, I know they had to give me more than one rooftop snow. Well, maybe they'll show up while I'm doing this. Let's take this one. And we'll put on the gold. This is a little <clears throat> bit of snow for the windows. And then here's another one. There we go. And I'm trying to get through here and hopefully one of those rooftops will pop up in here. Hmm. There's one of these, another one. Put it up here. And where's another way? I guess I should have gone through and sorted these a bit easier. Okay, put one there. You see what I did, don't you? Oh, well, I forgot to put the shadow one behind there. And there's no way that's coming off. So we're not even going to try. Um, well, Jiminy Cricket, I don't know why I'm not seeing any of those rooftop snow things. And she had one on every one of hers. Oh, no, that's not. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh, how frustrating. Let me dig through these a little bit, and I'll be right back. And now that'll be much easier to apply the rest of the little embellishments. Okay, we'll start on the red one. Look at these darling corner garlands. We're going to put this at the top of this. I think these are stickers, but since they're so small, I think I am not going to try to pull those off. I'm just going to go ahead and put glue on them. 
So let's put a little bit of glue. Piece up in the corner. Get that little bit of contrast. And I did find the snow. So put some snow on the rooftop. And these little embellishments, I mean, they really just set it off. Isn't that darling? Then they have garlands to go around all the windows. And I think I'm just going to use those. They are so cute. There's this one. I'll put that one up there. See how they're just coming together? And I think there's two choices of garlands. So we're going to put this one on this house. And I'll put the other one on the other house. I think I'm gonna, just going to take three of these to my craft fair. And after my craft fair, I can come home and make cards for the people I want to send them to. And I have, as I've mentioned, a couple ladies who like to get special cards on special occasions for special people. So we're going to add this one. The door one is a little bit longer. So we're going to put it on the door. First, I, I didn't realize that when I started putting them on my other card. I was like, oh my goodness. I don't think there's going to be enough of these. And it was really long. So anyway, let's do that. And then, oh my goodness, look at these little candles I'm gonna put these since this um, house paper is not quite as colorful as of course the red brick I am going to use the um, red candles over here and the other one I'm not really sure if I'm putting a candle put that on there one up here, and one down here where you can see the wallpaper through the window since it isn't dark in that room. <laughs> All right, we've got that on, and let's put a little wreath on the door. You can see that little wreath. I just think for this, it's more colorful on the white. Uh, door but if you did just like a white and gold card you know your gold wreath from the die they give you would be adorable and then you can open that uh, again let's do over here well first i'm gonna add this christmas tree i'm not adding it yet till we decide where we want to put the um sentiment there we go okay let's go ahead and get this door the garland around this door as you can see this is mostly just greenery and berries and the other one had little roses in it so let's do this one one and this one scoot this over a little bit and one at the top Then we'll put the snow on the roof, and that just adds definition and kind of 
kind of draws your eye in. Here's our snow. And you can see the snow, it's kind of uh, textured a little bit or colored so it looks like, you know, it's not just one stark white piece of snow. Then up here, I have a couple little holly branches or holly leaves with berries. So we're gonna put that up in the corners. Kind of hard to see some of the greenery when I used a green shadow layer, but let's go ahead and put this one up in the corner as well. Alright, and now for the windows on this one, I just chose a little arrangement of pines and berries. I'm going to put that on these. And this uh, kind of matches, I think, those garlands. And it's fairly large, so at first I thought I might add the gold candle behind it. But when I tried it, I thought that was just too much, too much. Put this one at the top. And I know I've got my little wreath over here somewhere. I might have to just, here it is. Put a wreath on the door. There we go. And I'm thinking of putting this tree here but before i like i said decide i want to see which sentiment i'm going to use okay let's go ahead and add these trees and then we'll figure out i want to see a sticker here and i think i'm going to add um some little puppy squares to this Oh, I don't want to tear that, so good enough, good enough. Let's add little foam squares. Pop this up a little bit. Okay, and then this tree over here, I'm going to do the same. Um, I'm not going to bother to try to take that sticky off. Let's just get these on here. There. Let's have another one here. Here's They're sticking to me. One over here. got glue on my fingers and it's all wanting to stick to my sticky things and if I would have thought and if I had known I was going to use this tree on here I could have saved this little embellishment there because it's going to pretty much cover it up but that's okay we're going to stick it on there because I think it looks nice and it might help if we take off these little paper backings I help a lot. Okay, lay that on there. And then this one, let's get the paper off. And let's put this one over here. Same thing if I had thought about it. Actually, I think I want the white one over here with the white trim 
and I want the green one over here with the light, lighter colored house. I just think that would look nicer. Okay, this one. And one more. I think that's the way I had it, but I just reached over there and stuck it on. Okay, let's put this one over here. Yeah, that looks better because of the white, the white, the white. It gives a little contrast, and this one is all white, so we want to do a little bit darker. And I wish I had saved my, <coughs> my snow and my little candle. I really do. Did I put snow under those? I did. I should have saved my snow under those. Oh, well. We live and learn, don't we? All right, put that on there. And for the sentiments on this one, I think I'm going to put Christmas wishes right across the top. Let's see that. I think that would look nice right across there. glue on that. Make sure it sticks. It looks good. There's Christmas wishes. Pretty. Very pretty. And this one we're going to put Happy Holidays with the green. We'll put it up there too. Could put it in the center. I think we will put it in the center. I look kind of like that snow against that red brick. And put this one right here in the center. So, here are the two that we made today. And like I said, if you get all of your things cut out ahead of time, it really goes a lot faster. Now, I have inserts here that I had ordered last year. Oh, wait. These are the envelopes. Hmm. These envelopes? These are envelopes. These are not inserts. So I will find the inserts later because they don't want this to go any longer. And this was the first card I made. And on this one, I used the green. I used the gold uh, matte paper. And I used one of my embossing folders for slimline cards. I put the little picture in the top. Again, I used the yellow in the back to make it look like lights. Here's a little door. There's nothing inside that door. <laughs> and on the back again, she says you can sign your name. So I will find those inserts. I think I have, well, this isn't one. Yeah, I'm, I've got them. I just grabbed the wrong thing. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it does take a little time, but when you get finished, they are so pretty. So, uh, thank you for stopping by again. I appreciate you watching. And if you have any friends who like Anna Griffin and like to see how some of their cards are made, be sure to refer them to my channel and see if they might like to watch some of my videos that I'm putting up right now. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I appreciate you so much, and thank you for being a subscriber, and until next time, bye-bye.